Hey everyone, this is Chris, bringing you a brand new deck this week, as I try and avoid the sort of unseasonable warmth in San Francisco right now. The plan for this week, this deck is going to be a somewhat thematic Palantir deck. Uh, we're going to have Denethor scrying with the Palantir uh, in order to give us some foreknowledge about what is going to happen coming off of the encounter deck. Since this is a Denethor deck, we are also going to be using Steward of Gondor and Rod of the Steward to sort of round out the Denethor package. Um, basically all the Denethor cards that actually matter. Our two other heroes are Spirit Gorfindel and Biffer, which does technically make this a secrecy deck, even though I'm not playing any of the secrecy cards. Um, I wanted a little bit low threat because the Palantir is going to maybe kick us into overdrive a little bit. In order to help us on our way, the sort of biggest, most important card that we're looking for is Master of the Forge. There are a ton of attachments that this deck wants to have in order to get things going. Uh, and Master of the Forge gives us a fantastic way of fishing them out, as well as a potentially valuable chump blocker when we need it. And of course, there's a ton of other stuff in here. <laughs> but honestly, I don't really feel like doing a giant deck tech this week. We're going to scry with the Palantir. That's the plan. And that's really all you probably need to know in order to <laughs> have some idea of where this deck is going. To 50 threat and beyond, probably. So, let's get into the game. Alright, here we are in Octagon. And I have loaded up my quest and deck already. And as is only appropriate for a Denethor deck, we are playing the Steward's Fear. Uh, my opening hand is kind of great. Uh, I have a copy of Steward of Gondor, which is going to help the resources get rolling. Uh, Aristor will help us filter out sort of unnecessary attachments that we have drawn too many copies of. Sneak Attack and Gandalf are just sort of problem-solving cards. We're in a good spot. So, let's get going. Uh, there's an Ent. That is a pretty good thing to see early. Uh, first things first, let me Steward of Gondor, gaining two resources. I will play Darren's Runes, draw two cards, discard that extra Steward of Gondor. Uh, I can put one resource on Biffer so that I can play a Wandering Ent. And I think I will use one on the Palantir. And since I have to do it as a planning action, we're going to do this right now. Uh, and my prediction for with the Palantir is location, because this is the Steward Sphere. All right, one, two, three. I am such a cheater because this quest makes the Palantir really good. All right, one, two, three cards drawn, no threat raised, and I know... That's the very first location we're going to see is Houses of the Dead. <sighs> yeah, all right. Well, one, two, three goes back. Uh, we got a quest decently hard right now. <laughs> so um, let's move on to the quest phase. I'm going to play a sneak attack. Pop Gandalf into play from my hand, uh, and I'm going to use him to draw three cards. One, two, three. That's a good one to see. And then we're going to quest. Uh, two, five, nine. Nine committed to the quest, up against nothing in the staging area. Up against four in the staging area, because we knew that was coming. Uh, it's going to make five progress. One, two, three, four, five which clears out the fourth stair, gives us one of these, flips over a clue, that's nice, uh, and lets me draw a card. 
Houses of the Dead needs two Underworld cards, so let's do that now. Um, and I know that my next card off of the top is going to be another location. Um, there aren't any enemies in play, so this is basically the perfect time to travel to Houses of the Dead. Uh, we're just going to leave these here and know that they're for that, because there's all this stuff in the way. Uh, and I guess let's move on to the next round. One, two, there is an extra two off of Steward. I will put one onto Biffer. And now the question is, do I want to play Asphaloth or another Wandering Ent? Uh, Asphaloth is really good. Uh, let's pay two for the Wandering Ent. I think we need to sort of stabilize with bodies on the board before we worry too much about specific location clearing. Um, you know, we're already absolutely phenomenal shape. Uh, and I think I will spend three, play a Guardian of Rivendell, discarding at this point Asphaloth, and I think this extra Heed the Dream, like it's great to be able to get two cards from your deck, basically any two cards you want, but we've got so much draw right now with the Palantir that I don't think we're going to need it. So, one, two, Palantir, and I'm naming location again. We get one City Streets, which is going to surge into Sewers. And our third card is a treachery. So I get to draw two, raise my threat by two. And that sneak attack Gandalf might absolutely save me. Uh, okay, so these two are gonna come out. It's gonna be five threat. And then a knife in the back is coming the round after that. We're going to potentially have three Underworld cards, so that's exciting. Mm. All right, um, it's going to be five threat, as already discussed. So I'm going to send seven to the quest. Uh, I do have to raise my threat by one because of Glorfindel. I've not found the Light of Valinor yet. So, we reveal a city street, which surges into the sewers. That's a shock. Uh, and we get two Underworld cards. One more over here on Houses of the Dead. And one underneath the sewers. Uh, good news is my seven willpower makes two progress. Which means I don't have to deal with Houses of the Dead yet. Uh, yeah, and that is where we are at this round. So let's move on to the next one. Extra Palantir that I don't need. Two more resources from the steward. Uh, definitely going to put one on Biffer so that I can spend two for Asphaloth. Uh, this is going to allow me to trigger Houses of the Dead, sort of whenever I feel like it. Uh, one of these allies is about to punch a hero, which sucks. Uh, I guess before we do anything else, let's Palantir, naming Treachery, because I know there's one here. I should have probably named Location again, but... Okay, Knife in the back, we know is coming, we got... City Street and Sewers for the following round. There's going to be another five threat. That's fun and exciting. Uh, I think I'm going to Asphaloth to clear out this City Street right now. <sighs> I could sneak in a Master of the Forge and hope that we hit Master of the Forge. 
instead which is kind of terrible but losing any of these would be bad sneaking in Gandalf just makes the problem way worse now I'm just I'm just gonna quest all right so we are going to send five to the quest we reveal a knife in the back uh, and I will pick a random ally it's an ant the ant is gonna do two damage to Glorfindel hmm. and I make two progress which clears houses of the dead adds a resource token to conspiracy and then we're gonna put all of these in the staging area that's a clue that's pretty good uh, this one is not so bad right now that one is kind of bad uh, I don't actually have to engage the pickpocket this round though which is fun uh, okay well let's travel to the sewers because we're gonna need to do that eventually um, I will optionally engage Zealous Trader, which is going to do two damage. I can't fight back this round, but that doesn't terribly bother me. Actually, I could. Uh, let me sneak attack in the combat phase. Pop a Gandalf into play. Uh, Gandalf is going to do one, two, three, four damage to this pickpocket. And he will defend this attack from the Zealous Trader. Gandalf ends up taking a damage. Uh, and the Wandering Ent and Guardian of Rivendell are enough to kill the traitor. And Gandalf's going to pop back into my hand. So that was pretty good. Uh, we know that five threats coming off the encounter deck, which could be bad, but I think we'll live. Uh, all right. And then this round, I have a ton of resources. Uh, let's Palantir again to draw some more cards. I name location because I know. Oh, because it was a shadow effect. Never mind. Only three threat is coming. All right, so two locations and a treachery means my threat goes up by two, and I draw two cards. Uh, lost in the city is going to be obnoxious for, but two sewers. Sewer number one. Sewer number two. Okay, and I will Darren's runes, draw two more cards, uh, discard this extra Palantir. One, two, three, four, plays an Aerostore. Hmm. And what else do I actually want to play? I think I just want to save resources right now. Honestly, uh, so three threat is coming. Means I can quest for two, four, six. Um, let's make it seven with Elrond's council, dropping my threat down to 26. And we reveal a sewers. Imagine that. Here's an underworld card for the active location. Here's one for this sewers. And I make four progress, one, two, three, four. Clears out the sewers, adds a token, flips two underworld cards. All right. I need healing before I can engage this Umbar assassin. I need healing really bad. Uh, because Glorfindel will die. Anyways, I will travel to the sewers. I guess I will optionally engage the pickpocket. I have to do two damage from archery, so one, two. Uh, we'll defend the pickpocket. I will lose a resource 
and discard a random card. An extra Faramir, that is totally fine. Uh, and I will have Glorfindel kill the pickpocket, getting us pretty set for the next round, even if I think I might have to use two Gandalfs to kill the Umbar Assassin. And I only have to clear one more location before we reveal the plot. So hopefully that's not something awful. Hmm. All right. Well, I'm going to pound here again, naming location. Okay. Two storehouses and a lost in the city. Uh, those are going to change because this lost in the city is going to shuffle the deck. Uh, which is fine. Actually, I can pull back something easy like City Streets. So, storehouse, storehouse, lost in the city. Uh, that means I draw two cards. Raise my threat by two. I will play Darren's Runes to draw two more. Discard. I'm going to discard Rod of the Steward. Uh, I put it in because in other quests or before you get Palantir, being able to get the cards you want is like really nice. But with Palantir drawing us an average of two cards every round, uh, we don't need it. Like We just don't need it at all. Uh, so I'm going to heed the dream though. Look at the top five cards. There's a Warden of Healing. So I will... Shuffle the rest of these back into the deck. Uh, my 29 threat is okay for this round. So let me move one to Biffer. Pay two. Drop a Warden of Healing into play. I will use the Warden of Healing. I know what's coming. Um, I don't know what this is. But I don't think it's going to kill my Warden. Hmm. <sighs> Oh, that was silly. Um, I'm going to take that back and have used a Denethor resource instead of a Glorfindel resource. Because with Glorfindel resources, I can play a Galadrim's Greeting, drop my threat back down to 23. Uh, yeah. And now we're going to quest. It's going to be about six threat in the staging area, so I'm going to send six myself. Six, we reveal Lost in the City. Look at all these cards. I know this is a big shock. Um, are these revealed? They're not revealed, so City Streets is not going to surge. So, up against six. Uh, Hmm. Yeah, up against six, we will make no progress. I need to put out two archery damage, which is going to be one. Uh, actually, do I want to engage? I don't think I do. Yeah, so two archery damage is going to be one, two. And I will asphalt off the sewers. And we move on yet again. It's another Rod of the Steward I don't really need. Hmm. <laughs> uh, let me discard Rod of the Steward with Aristor. Draw another card. Arwen is a good one to see. Uh, let's Palantir again, naming location. I don't remember if I... Not sure I shuffled this after the last one, so... Still going to name location. There's one. There's two. And there's three. So, two more threat. Two more cards. Uh, all right, false lead is good to know about. Storehouse and the market square are really not bad either. So let me spend one for a Light of Valinor, finally. 
one, two, three, four, five. Pops a Gandalf into play. Does four damage to the Umbar Assassin. And I am going to preemptively heal. Uh, one, two. Uh, actually, leave that one, heal this one with my Warden of Healing. Uh, Gandalf is probably going to absorb the archery damage. Possibly going to stay back to fight. It's all a little unclear. Okay, but for the sake of questing, there is going to be 8 threat in the staging area, which is fine. Uh, I can send 2, 5, 6, 7... Yeah, and I'll use Asphaloth to make it six in the staging area. So I'm going to send seven threat. We reveal a storehouse, which gets an underworld card. Uh, it means eight against us, but I can go one, two, clear this city street. And now we're only up against six. I make one progress. Clears out the active location, adds the fourth token, and flips over the zealous traitor that I was a little worried about. That's okay. And we are on to stage two. I will pick a random number for the plot. Any number, one to three. Plot number one. Unholy Alliance. Extra encounter cards is actually not too bad. Uh, the only one that I was worried about is up in flames because I don't have many cards left in my deck. And we make Roots of Mindalu in the active location and we reveal, or we don't reveal, we assign it an additional underworld card and it is now very hard to asphalt off the storehouse, but that is fine. Uh, I'm gonna put the plot over here because if it's in the staging area it gets moved around. Yep, okay. I am forced to engage this zealous traitor, which kind of sucks. I think I can handle it. Doesn't mean that Aristor is going to die. I wish I had a sneak attack right now. That's okay. All right, I can do two archery damage, though. That's pretty easy. Uh, one, two. Yep. Have to engage the Zealous Trader optionally, so that we do one, two, three, four, five. Get rid of those two. Have a shadow effect. Uh, Gandalf will defend. Discard one resource. Gandalf takes no damage. And four damage kills the Trader. That was not so bad. Gandalf will get discarded again. And we will move on. Elrond's Council is nice to see. Hmm. I could play another Guardian of Rivendell, which is very helpful. I should have claimed the prisoner on Glorfindel last round, but let's fix that later. I know my next location is three threat. Uh, so I'm going to, actually, hang on. Let me, let me palantir first, naming location. One, crap, I forgot about, okay. Well, I raise my threat by four and I draw one card. 13 cards left. I have seen one, two sneak attacks. So there's one left in here. I don't know if that's worth it. Could get me healing though, which would be really strong. I have two false leads coming. Uh, let's gamble. I can survive another two archery from the Umbar Assassin. So, heed the dream. 
look at top five, grab a sneak attack. I think that's better. Yeah, I will live with that for now. And I know we are not going to resolve the quest, so I am simply not going to send anyone. And we reveal false lead. Okay, no questing has happened. And the second card we reveal was the other false lead. I don't actually know if that works um, because the first one should end the quest phase immediately. So we're gonna put that second one back. It's not too bad, actually. Gives me another chance to deal with this Umbar Assassin before all of this nonsense. Um, actually, yeah, let's get rid of Umbar Assassin now. During the travel phase, I will spend one for a sneak attack, popping a Gandalf into play. One, two, three, four, kills the Umbar Assassin before I have to take any more damage. And Gandalf comes back into my hand before the encounter phase. I will claim the prisoner. I'm gonna put two tokens, that's the wrong tokens. Put two tokens on the grand design. Uh, and I will claim the secret map on Biffer. I don't know that I wanna use it yet, but I could. Uh, actually, let's do it now. Uh, Asphaloth puts two progress tokens on Roots of Mindaluin in the combat phase. Secret map, I'm gonna add to the victory display to put three progress tokens on Roots of Mindaluin. Clears the location, adds a token, and reveals a zealous traitor. It's the one that might kill off our allies, so it's good to know about it in advance. And I definitely can't get below the threat requirement to avoid engaging it. So let's move on to the next round, one location away from the grand design. I will use Steward of Gondor for two extra resources. And we will use the Palantir to look into our future. I know we're not gonna resolve the quest this phase. Um, and I'm gonna say, location again because there's a good chance that the third one is going to be a location so there's the false lead that we know about a market square ah it's another treachery all right so my threat goes up by four gross and i draw a card that one doesn't help on uh, this round we're just going to false lead so that's fine one two three Hmm, all right, uh, one, two, plays an Arwen. One, two, three, four, five, plays Gandalf, kills the Zealous Traitor. And we're not gonna resolve the quest, so let's not send anyone. And we reveal false lead. So that's the end of that quest phase. I will travel to the storehouse. I will immediately use Asphaloth to put two progress on the storehouse. Clearing it out, revealing this underworld card, adding a token, and moving me to the next round where I have to reveal a villain. Well, I have to pick a villain. Random number one to three. Three, random number, octagon, there we go, one to three. Villain number two, Hand of Castamere. Okay, this is bad. <laughs> I know there's a treachery coming this round, so yeah. All right. I'm gonna have to engage both of these enemies, that's exciting. Mm, yep, okay.
Ooh, what is the top card of the encounter deck? It's a location. That's all right, we get Shadow Shadow. Uh, what do I need to kill the Hand of Castamere's nine? So that could be one, two, three. All right. Uh, let's have Arwen defend the pickpocket. And she is going to boost the Guardian of Rivendell's defense to four. I do have to lose this resource and a random discard. Extra steward is fine. Uh, okay. Goes back. Oh, right, shadow card. So I don't actually know what the top of the encounter deck is anymore. This is a location, though, which does have a shadow effect, but I don't remember what the shadow effect is. Lose all the resources. That's fine. Uh, and we reveal this encounter card and discard it. So, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> Kills the hand of Castamir. Uh, we are in pretty decent shape. Also, I should have shuffled like all of these cards back into the encounter deck because I forgot to flip that part over. This mostly means that the villain is not likely to come back. Uh, and we're in pretty decent shape for the rest of the game. Gandalf gets discarded. I'll move on to the next round. Extra Asphaloth I do not need. Okay, we are going to Palantir, uh, naming location. One. Two. Three. Oh, total whiff. All right, we're at 43 threat, uh, and we are going to get a knife in the back and another pickpocket this round. That's good. It's not good. Uh, it does mean we are only going to be up against six threat, but that is miserable. Absolutely miserable. I guess I should just save for Gandalf. Uh, Going to spend two on a Master of the Forge. He can discard an attack, or he can defend an attack. He can possibly be discarded. It's, it's not too bad. So, questing. Two, five, six, seven, uh, eight with Elrond's Council. And my threat is now down to 40. And we reveal one, yep, two, knife in the back. Random ally. Wandering Ent. Uh, sure, two damage on Denethor. My eight, oh yeah, I was going to boost Guardian to Rivendell with Arwen so that he can defend. Uh, my eight makes two progress. Oh, just pretend I did this one revealed correctly instead of hurrying it away. Eh, deal with it later. Uh, I'm forced to engage both of these pickpockets. It's going to cost me two resources and two random discards. So one, two, random discard, random discard. Gandalf is fine. Uh, Master of the Forge will defend this one. Discard my hand. Guardian of Rivendell will defend this one. And we'll kill one of them. And now that I don't know, I'm gonna shuffle all these into the encounter deck, extra shuffle just for fun, and move on to the next round. Word of Healing is pretty good, though. Uh, one, two. Not gonna use Palantir anymore. We just need to quest, sort of. And the defensive ability is kind of nice. So two, five, six, seven, <laughs> committed to the quest. Oh, it's not so great. Up against seven, 
good. No progress is made. Two on Houses of the Dead. And I have to optionally engage Losernock Bandit. Uh, this is going to cost me kind of all my resources. Optionally engage the Bandit takes one from each. Pickpocket is going to take another one. So Pickpocket attack will be defended by Denethor. Attacking enemy gets plus two, means he still does no damage. Uh, boosted Guardian of Rivendell will defend the bandit. No shadow effect. And three is enough to kill the pickpocket. And we're moving on again. Uh, 42 threat, turn 11. It's not too bad. This extra Palantir does me no good. Uh, but I might as well heal my heroes. And commit to the quest. Two, five, six, seven. Yet again. Not negative one. Seven. And we reveal one, two. All right. Local trouble is going to attach to Denethor, as is only appropriate. Uh, and I'm going to use Asphaloth to clear out Houses of the Dead. So up against three, I make four progress. One, two, three, four. And we have to engage the underworld dissident. Shadow, shadow. Uh, hmm. Denethor defends. I will have to raise my threat by two. It's probably okay. Defend this one with Denethor. Uh, defend this guy with the boosted Guardian Rivendell. Sends him back to the staging area. That's fine. Put one damage on Underworld Dissident. And we move on to the next round. My threat at 45. Two resources on Denethor and nothing to spend them on. One, two for a Master of the Forge. Probably just going to chump block with these guys this round. Uh, and we are going to yet again send seven to the quest. Okay, false lead means we don't finish the quest. But I do have to engage both of these enemies, which costs me one resource. Shadow, shadow, shadow. All right. Uh, boosted guy is going to defend this Losernock bandit. Lose all my resources. <laughs> Master of the Forge will defend one. Discard an attachment. Uh, Palantir is safe. Master of the Forge is killed. Defend another dissident. Second Master of the Forge is killed. Denethor kills this dissident. I think I can see the writing on the wall here, you guys. Galadrim's greeting could possibly do something useful. Uh, so let's quest. Send seven yet again. Reveal, reveal. Roots of Pindaluin. Okay. Uh, up against five, I'll make two progress. Asphaloth can put two on Roots of Mindaluin. Travel to Roots of Mindaluin. Engage an Underworld's Dissident, who are now at three attack. Shadow, shadow, shadow. Defend one of these guys, take no damage. Uh, let's defend one of these guys, take no damage. Um, and I'll take this one undefended. Okay, we remove a token from the quest. Oh yeah, sorry, Warden of Healing is definitely dead. One progress goes away, uh, and I have to put three damage on a hero. One, two, three. Uh, I can put one damage on an Underworld Dissident. We'll move on to the next round. One, two, here is a Wandering Ent. Kinda wish I had that Gandalf right now. Uh, two, three, seven. Uh, I'll save that. All right, so seven committed to the quest. 
Oh, let's one, two, clear out storehouse with Asphaloth. I'll make four progress. One, two, three, four. I can travel to the sewers. Shadow, shadow, shadow. I'll defend one of these, taking no damage. Ugh. I'll defend one of these, raising my threat by one. Does not destroy a character. And I'm gonna take this one undefended. Uh, and I'm going to choose to get Denethor killed because he's gonna raise my threat by one. I can kill this underworld dissident. <laughs> Move on to the next round. That card is now super useless. Uh, but I have three resources for Galadrim's Greeting. Drops my threat back down to 43. Means I am technically safe for now. Uh, I only need to make a bunch of progress. So let's quest. Uh, we're going to send seven again. Revealing one, two. Well, might as well clear out storehouse from the staging area. That is one, two, three progress. Uh, I do have to optionally engage the Umbar Assassin. Uh, who kills a hero? Think. And between these three, I'm I'm just dead. <laughs> uh, does that discard a discard your hand shadow effect wherever it is? It's on one of these locations, right? This one, Lost in the City. Ah, that card is so annoying. All right, but that's the power of the Palantir against an encounter deck that you know pretty well. You get to draw a lot of cards. And hey, it seems perfectly appropriate. Just like in the plot of the Lord of the Rings, the Palantir sort of leads Denethor to his doom. And that is exactly what happened here. Uh, Alright everyone, hopefully you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.